Hello lovely people, it's Grażena from Polski z Grażeną. Um, today we'll be looking at two uh, verbs, motion verbs in Polish, chodzić and iść. Uh, we'll be comparing them, uh, looking at the conjugation and usage. So I hope you're gonna enjoy the lesson and let's get straight to it. Here we go, we've got chodzić and iść. Um, both again motion verbs, but there's a clear difference between them. Uh, and let's start with chodzić. Uh, it might have never been explained to you in this way, but this is how I want you to understand this. And that chodzić has got frequency, uh, used to go, the meaning of used to go somewhere in the past, and the meaning of usually built in it. Okay, let me explain what I mean by it. So let's start with frequency. If I want to use uh, words like często, often, czasem, sometimes, zawsze, always, zwykle, usually, so this is my usually here, uh, rzadko, rarely, prawie nigdy, below, hardly ever, and nigdy, never, you will see that they all correspond with frequency. I'm saying how often I go somewhere, right? So I go, let's take the example of uh, I go to the gym, okay? So I often go to the gym. Um, I go to the gym. Uh, I sometimes go to the gym. I always go to the gym. I usually go to the gym. I rarely go to the gym. I hardly ever go to the gym. I never go to the gym. So. With words like this, I haven't specified all of them, right? Uh, so, codziennie, every day is not here, but would also make sense. So, if I want to say how often I go, uh, this would be my verb to choose, okay? So, this is what I mean by frequency. And it doesn't mean that I, um, that I would use it only when I go somewhere frequently. No, uh, I, I'll use it when I want to say how often I go, okay? So that's the first, uh, first thing built in the meaning of that verb. So let's take some examples. Uh, we'll analyze it in more detail later on, but just a few examples. Let's say I rarely go to the gym, okay? I'll use rzadko. Rzadko chodzę na siłownię. I rarely go to the gym, right? How I can actually check um, uh, if I'm using the right verb is to apply the question, how often do I go, right? So, jak często chodzę na siłownię? How often? Jak często? Rarely, rzadko. So, if I actually can give myself an answer of how often someone goes somewhere, uh, that would mean that I'm choosing the right verb chodzić. If the answer wouldn't make sense, then it's not clear if I'm actually making the right choice, uh, which you will see when I'm going to show you some examples. So, frequency. When, I'm, when I say how often uh, someone goes somewhere, I use the verb chodzić. Let's look at the meaning of used to go. So, this, uh, this is a situation when I would use this verb in the past tense, right? Because I'm referring to the past. I'm saying that I did something, I went somewhere, specifically, in the past, and I did it more than once. So, I could, for instance, build a sentence like, um, I used to go to the gym five years ago. Pięć lat temu chodziłam na siłownię. Um, I could say, chodziłam do szkoły, kiedy byłam mała. I used to go to school when I was little. And so on and so forth. So you would use chodzić uh, if you wanted to say that you used to go somewhere, but you don't do it anymore. And the last one usually uh, if you go somewhere, usually, right, so this is the zwykle word, um, you would use the verb chodzić. Sometimes we don't even have to say zwykle, that's why I um, 
I, uh, I wanted to explain it to you. We could say, uh, chodzę na zakupy w piątki. I go uh, shopping on Fridays. I don't have to use the word usually because I'm using chodzić. That kind of suggests that I do it usually, doesn't it? Uh, I usually go shopping on Friday. Uh, right, so I hope that this helps a little. Let's look at the verb iść. Iść is totally different. You can see straight away that uh, it's got different things built in it again, if you like. Uh, the meaning of now, the meaning of soon, in a minute, soon, and the one-off meaning of one-off action. So let me explain. Uh, if you are going to the gym now, this is the verb to use. So I would use this verb if I wanted to say, to say I'm going to the gym. Are you going with me? So not necessarily I go to the gym often, every day, rarely, but I'm going now, right? So idę na siłownię. Idę na siłownię. Right? I'm going to the gym now. Idę teraz na siłownię. To make it stronger, I could use the word teraz. Idę teraz na siłownię. Right? If I chose the word zaraz in a second, right? soon, very, very soon, uh, the sentence would also make sense. So, zaraz idę na siłownię. I'm going to the gym in a minute. In a moment, uh, in a while, idę na siłownię za chwilę. I'm going to the gym soon. Idziesz? Right? Are you going? Um, so now or soon, right? Um, these are just a few examples of words that you could use. Uh, but I wanted to show you that uh, they differ from the words that you've got here, right? Uh, and one off, so if I'm going to the gym on Friday, just to check it out, I'm not sure if it's a place for me, if I want to join, just to check it out, this is also the verb I would use. So, idę na siłownię w piątek, bo chcę się zapisać. I'm going to the gym on Friday because I want to join. Right, so not necessarily going there every, every Friday, but just this Friday as one off. So, I hope this explains um, the, the showing you the meanings that are kind of in the in the mm, in inside the verb, if you like, uh, helps us uh, making the right choice. So let us look at sentences that we can build, and see if that actually uh, all makes sense to you. Here we go, conjugation of hodzić and iść. Uh, in the present in present tense, um, I will be doing a past tense conjugation, so please bear with me. I'll do that in a separate video. Um, for those of you who are a little bit more advanced, um, I'm going to say that these both are imperfective verbs. Um, and this one is the indeterminate form uh, of the imperfective verb. Uh, to go, and this one is determinate form of the imperfective verb to go. I will, again, I will be doing um, a separate video on past tense of those double imperfective verbs um, soon. So, um, conjugation in present tense, let's start with chodzić. First of all, I would like you to notice that DZI in Polish, it's not the Z, but G. I hear that very often um, uh, uh, when uh, I've got a lesson with students pronouncing DZI as Z, right? It's very soft, the G, right? G, right? Um, Chodzę, I go, chodzę, chodzisz, you go, on, ona, ona, so he, she, it, chodzi, chodzimy, we go, chodzicie, chodzicie, chodzą, they go. So once again, I'm going to point and ask you to pronounce it and then uh, I'm going to pronounce it after you. Let's start with the first one. Chodzę. Chodzisz. Chodzi. Chodzimy. 
chodzicie, chodzą. Ok? Iść. Idę. Idziesz. So you see again, not idziesz, right? Diza die. Idziesz, very soft. Idzie. Idziemy. Idziecie. Idą. So again, it could mean I go as one of, or I'm going somewhere now. Um, I'm going, you're going, he, she, it is going, we're going, you going, they're going. So once more, this time with you. Idę. Try this one on your own. Idziesz. Idzie. Idziemy. Idziecie. Idą. So now let's try to do them together, one by one. Uh, first person singular of chodzę, idę. Second person singular, chodzisz, idziesz, and so on and so forth. Uh, try first and I'll follow you. Chodzę. Idę. Chodzisz. Idziesz. Chodzi. Idzie. Chodzimy. Idziemy. Chodzicie. Idziecie. Chodzą. Idą. Brilliant. Um, so let's look at the uh, particular examples of the um, sentences, Polish sentences, with uh, chodzić and iść. Let's have a look at a few examples of, um, of uh, Polish sentences with the verb chodzić. Często chodzę z mamą na zakupy. So I often go shopping with my mom. I'm using chodzę. Uh, I'm using chodzić conjugated in the first person singular, to be precise, uh, because I'm saying how often I do it. Często. Czasami chodzę do kina. I go to the cinema sometimes. Chodzę because I'm saying how often. Czasami. The next one is a question. Dlaczego tak rzadko chodzisz na spacery? Why do you go for walks so rarely? I'm using chodzić, right? Because from my perspective, I'm saying it's not often enough, right? So rarely. Ona codziennie chodzi do pracy. She goes to work every day. I'm using chodzić because I'm saying that she goes to work every day. On nigdy nie chodzi do lekarza. He never goes to the doctors. Again, I'm saying how often, never, therefore, chodzić. My prawie nigdy nie chodzimy do teatru. We hardly ever go to the theatre. I'm saying how often, prawie nigdy, therefore, I'm using the verb chodzić, conjugated in a first person plural. Let's look at the... Um, meaning of used to go in the past. Again, I will do a separate video on that, but just to give you an idea. Chodziłam na yoga, kiedy byłam zdrowa. I used to go to the yoga class when I was healthy. I did it often, right? I used to do it, therefore I'm using chodzić in the past. Question? Gdzie chodziłeś do szkoły? Where did you go to school, right? Literally, where did you used to go to school, right? If we wanted to look at this way. Therefore, chodzić. Chodziłem do pracy pieszo. I used to go to work on foot. Uh, and the meaning of usually, this is kind of, again, a built in a frequency, but let's do it as a separate one. Zwykle chodzę do kina, kiedy mam czas. I usually go to the cinema when I have time. Kiedy jest ładna pogoda, zwykle chodzę na wycieczki. 
uh, when the weather is nice, I go on trips. Usually, again. Zazwyczaj, this is another word of saying usually, zwykle, zazwyczaj. Zazwyczaj chodzę do pracy z Anną. I usually go to work with Anna. In all those examples, sorry, in all those examples, I could actually erase the word zwykle here. And the meaning of usually would be still there simply because of the verb chodzę. Chodzę do kina, kiedy mam czas. I usually go to the gym, to uh, the cinema when I have time. Kiedy jest ładna pogoda, chodzę na wycieczki. Again, I don't need to use this word. I can, but I don't have to. Chodzę do pracy z Anną. I usually go to work with Anna. Let's look at some examples with the verb iść. Idę do sklepu, wrócę za godzinę. I'm going to the shop. I'll be back in an hour. That obviously means that I'm going now. I have to use the verb iść, right? Idziesz dzisiaj do Filipa? Are you going to see Philip today? Again. Idziesz? Because I'm asking about today. As one off. Right. Oni zaraz idą do domu. They're going home in a minute. I'm using zaraz, I'm saying in a minute, therefore, idą. Gdzie idziesz? Again, where are you going? Gdzie idziesz? Because you're going somewhere now, and I don't know where, I'm asking through the verb idziesz. Ona nie idzie jutro do pracy, bo jest chora. She's not going to work tomorrow because she's ill. It's about tomorrow, it's about one off. Nie idzie. Idziecie z nami do kina wieczorem? Are you going to the cinema with us in the evening? It's going to be in the evening soon. Idziecie. So let's compare iść and chodzić. I'm going to give you some examples with chodzić based on the sentences uh, we've just done to show you the difference. So compare. Idę do sklepu, wrócę za godzinę. I'm going to the shop, I'll be back in an hour. Zawsze chodzę do tego sklepu. I always go to this shop. Idziesz dzisiaj do Filipa? Are you going to see Philip today? Chodzisz do Filipa w czwartki czy piątki? Do you usually go to see Philip on Thursday or Friday? Oni zaraz idą do domu. They're going home in a minute. Oni chodzą do domu pieszo. They go home on foot. Gdzie idziesz? Where are you going? Gdzie chodzisz po pracy? Where do you usually go after work? Ona nie idzie jutro do pracy, bo jest chora. She's not going to work tomorrow because she's sick. Ona chodzi do pracy nawet wtedy, gdy jest chora. She goes to work even if she's ill. Idziecie z nami do kina wieczorem? Are you going with us to the cinema in the evening? Chodzicie do kina Otello czy Phoenix? Do you usually go to Otello or Phoenix? Thank you so much guys for watching uh, and if you like the video please make sure that you go to this website and uh, you check it out. You can find some more materials there for learning Polish, uh, some mind maps, um, vocabulary, uh, video lessons and also podcasts uh, which may help you learning Polish. Right, uh, I'm looking forward to another video for you and I hope to see you very soon guys. Dziękuję i do zobaczenia. Pa pa!